Pictures tonight from a horrifying crash that killed an Ohio man hoping for a thrill. He died driving a race car at the Kentucky Speedway last year. Tonight, that man's parents filed a lawsuit saying someone or some company is to blame. And nine on your side, Julie O'Neill spoke with those parents just hours ago. She is live tonight in their hometown tonight. And Julie, what are their thoughts about this? Well, this suit filed in U.S. District Court in Covington describes the amateur driving experience as, quote, an outrageously inadequately operated activity. And tonight, the parents of Stephen Cox are talking about the details uh, and the disturbing pictures contained in this suit. Kind of tuck it away. You can imagine Gene and Doug Cox have a hard time thinking about the final moments their son Stephen had behind the wheel of this race car. I don't want anybody else to go through what we did. New pictures showing the mangled aftermath of his crash show a damaged steering wheel. Their suit claims was put on upside down and not locked in place, causing it to come off as Cox was going over 100 miles per hour. It's the most unthinkable thing that could happen. Attorney Gary Lepler also says, among other things, Cox was not properly harnessed in, leading to the fatal injuries when he hit two walls. It's one thing after another, and it's a total lack of care, a total lack of attention to safety, and it's willful and wanton. It's the grossest of negligence. Cox was adventurous, but also smart. Uh, valedictorian of his class and graduated from Ohio Northern with a uh, doctorate in pharmacy. His parents say they hope their son's experience will educate others. Just sad. Just uh, it's like uh, a waste. What a waste. No comment so far from the Kentucky Speedway on this. The Rusty Wallace driving experience has released a statement saying that uh, safety is their number one priority and they take extraordinary steps to keep their customers and employees safe at the track. Live in Germantown, I'm Julie O'Neill, 9 on your side.